Now this is an update PSA video, but it is also a warning. And that warning is, I don't believe it is now safe to fly a DJI O3 ear unit in combination with the DJI Goggles 3 period. In my last video, I spoke about the issues that people are having and I warned you to be careful. However, I'm now stepping this up to being what I believe a safety critical matter. And that is as a result of the O3 ear unit will not reconnect to the Goggles 3 in the event of signal loss. And as a result of that, it is not safe, in my opinion, for these two products to be used together. Now, I have been doing a bunch of testing over the last few days, and I know a lot of other people are doing testing as well, and I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. What I can tell you is I have confirmed that in the event of signal loss on multiple O3 ear units, you cannot get it to reconnect to the Goggles 3 unless you disarm the O3 ear unit. I have tested this on the latest firmware on the goggles and the O3 ear unit that work with these systems. I have confirmed it as well across multiple ear units. I have also tested the O3 ear unit on the latest firmware in combination with the goggles too, and I am not seeing that issue. Whilst there are many people saying they are having issues with the goggles too, right now the only issue that I can confirm is the O3 in combination with the Goggles 3. And from what I have seen, this is a safety critical issue. And as a result of this, you should not fly these two together. Now, I'm just going to briefly explain a bit more. I'm not going to put much up on the screen on this one because I want to get this edit done and out there. I've got a bunch of test data that I'm going to try and put together and share if DJI don't fix this in the short term. But what I am seeing is this so far. When your O3 connects to the Goggles 3, it behaves exactly as it should. In normal use, it behaves when the signal drops, the O3 ear unit goes into its standard polling mode. The way O3 works is it doesn't stay on the channel it was on in the event of signal loss. It stays on a high power level, but it jumps the carrier onto a different frequency and it sort of poles on a number of frequencies but stays on one predominantly and is sort of shouting at the goggles, hey, I'm over here. When the goggles pick that signal back up, what should then happen is the ear unit will then go, oh, I'm back into normal operation and it will then kick in to the normal operating modes. Now, I can tell from the RF behavior that the O3 ear unit is definitely trying to communicate with the goggles because there's an interesting thing that I've spotted, and that is when the signal drops, it goes into its normal polling mode. But when you bring the goggles back into signal of the O3 ear unit, it starts then to jump around on the band, trying to re-establish the link, but it never actually does it. Now, what this tells me is that the goggles and the ear unit are talking because they wouldn't start jumping around the band if they weren't talking. Again, when the link drops, it will jump to a polling frequency. And whilst it will hop among a couple of them, it tends to sit on one and then very quickly jump to another and jump back. When it, though, gets back into range, it starts hopping all over the band. You actually see this frequency jumping around but it never jumps back into normal operating mode. Now, as for what the cause of this is, we don't know. This is some quirk, some software issue that DJI have that is preventing the re-establishment of the link when the signal has been lost in combination with the Goggles 3, but it doesn't do it on the Goggles 2. And no matter what I do, there is no way to get the link to re-establish unless you disarm the aircraft. Now, just to demonstrate what I'm seeing on the analyzer here, the carrier is working. It's the carrier on the right-hand side. We're about to lose signal. And what it will do is jump down to the lower end of the screen when signal losses, and that is it in its polling frequency. There, you can see it's moved to the left and it's just sitting there now waiting for the link to re-establish. Now, you will have seen it moved a little. And what you will see next is me move the goggles back into signal and you'll start to see that carrier jumping around. Here we go. So now the goggles are back into signal. 
the carrier is jumping around various different frequencies, but it's never re-establishing the actual link. It's quite interesting because no matter what happens, it just won't reconnect, no matter how close you bring the goggles, no matter what you do. But the fact the carrier is jumping around is a different behavior to what you usually get in signal loss. And that is demonstrating to me that there is communication between the goggles and the O3 ear unit, but it is not able to fully reestablish the link. Now, I have seen a lot of talk on various forums. I've had posts on my uh, YouTube channel and I've seen people posting on DJI forum as well. There's a lot of great testing going on, but there's also a lot of assumptions being made as well. People saying things like, it's being caused if you're using it on a back and it's not got enough power. It's caused because the goggles aren't scanning the right frequency. The truth of the matter is today, we do not know what the cause is. It is my firm belief that it is a firmware issue now with the Goggles 3 and not the O3 ear unit itself. I don't believe it's a scanning issue. I think this is some authentication issue or something like that when the link drops. The Goggles and the ear unit are definitely communicating. That I can tell you. When the signal comes back in, the behavior changes. But what it isn't doing is kicking in to the normal operating mode. It almost looks like it's ignoring the authentication from the ear unit. It's almost like it doesn't like it go away rather than actually re-establishing the link. Now, as I said at the start, my advice as a result of this and the fact that you cannot get it to reconnect in the event of a loss means it's dangerous and I do not think you should be using O3 in combination with the Goggles 3. We are now in the situation where we have a safety critical issue on the DJI product that they need to resolve ASAP. DJI, this is dangerous, this is not good enough, and this needs to be fixed now.